Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we're answering the question, what would the dark glass tone capsule sound like inside of the Charvel San Dimas? Let's find out. This, as you all know, is the Charvel San Dimas. Now, I panned this bass for being excellent in every way except for the preamp, which was so bad that, in my opinion, it just detracted from the overall experience. That, combined with some really, really poor soldering, wiring, shielding, and grounding, led me to take this bass apart and shield it properly to get rid of the obnoxious amount of noise that this thing had out of the box. After fixing the noise issue, though, I explored the preamp a little bit further. In fact, I just shot that video about an hour ago. And then I was just sitting around and I stumbled upon this. The dark glass tone capsule that I had lying around from my Dingwall NG3 over here, which now has the John East MMSR Stingray preamp. Several of you out there commented on the Charvel San Dimas review video that you wanted to see the dark glass tone capsule inside this base, and you know, I want to hear that too, so let's do it. Now, because I'm not touching the strings, I'm not touching the pickups, all I'm doing is just ripping out the preamp and the guts inside there. I'm going to include footage from my preamp deep dive on the stock preamp to compare against our after product. So we're going to be looking at that footage compared to the dark glass footage, and you guys will uh, get to choose which one you like best. I think this is a pretty one-sided comparison, though. But enough talking, let's go ahead and get to work. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Now before we go all swappity swap on this bass, let me just show you what it sounds like in its stock configuration. I have the internal trim pot on the stock preamp turned all the way down because that's pretty much its only usable state. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you everything centered. So I'm not going to go through the preamp deep dive in this video. I'm going to have that video linked in the description below. And I am going to use that footage later on in this video. So again, the stock preamp, centered with the gain all the way down, is actually somewhat usable. Uh, it's not the best preamp by any means, and I still don't think it pairs well with these pickups, which are excellent sounding pickups. Uh, but I think the dark glass might add some interesting character to an already interesting bass. So let's go ahead and get rid of this cable spaghetti over here and toss in our dark glass. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is get rid of the stock preamp controls. First, we're gonna take off these knobs. Now that we have the knobs off, let's go ahead and loosen the pots from the body. Now we are uh, just about ready to flip, flip the base over. Let's just remove the washers too. I go. Now let's go ahead and flip the base over and we're going to remove the preamp. Okay, now that our preamp is out, let's go ahead and try and make some sense of things here. Okay, so it looks like the holes for the EQ pots are a little bit on the small side, so we're going to have to widen them ever so slightly. I'm going to go ahead and try and select the best drill bit for the job here. Okay. 
Okay, now that our holes have been drilled, hopefully we haven't damaged the finish. Looks like we did a good job here. Let's see if the pots fit now. Yep. So it looks like we'll be able to get these through there. Let's go ahead and flip this back over. Get all this out of the way. Okay, so sorry for not talking more during this. I'm kind of flying blind as these, these controls are a little bit weird. Uh, let's go see and let's go ahead and see if this works. And it works. Let's go ahead and reattach the knobs. And we are back and we have successfully swapped in the dark glass tone capsule preamp into our Charvel Sandemus. Now this did require some extremely slight modification. I did have to drill out the holes for the EQ controls just a little bit. However, it was an extremely easy drill to do. I did it with a hand drill. No damage was done to the base. It was extremely simple. And after that, I was easily able to install the uh, dark glass tone capsule. Now, the stock wiring is a huge mess and can be kind of confusing at first. However, once you kind of separate everything out, it starts to make sense a little bit, at least it did to me. Anyways, enough talking, here is the final result. This is our Charvel Sandemus with the dark glass tone capsule. First, let's start out with everything centered. Here's the P-Base pickup by itself with the EQ center. Very nice, very nice. And here is the bridge pickup. That is the wrong control. Here is the bridge pickup. Now let's go ahead and center that one more time and let's bring all three EQ controls down all the way so everything is at full cut and then we'll start playing with the individual controls. <laughs> Thank 
First, let's go ahead and look at the high mid control. Let's go ahead and center that. Here's what that sounds like. And let's bring that up all the way. So that's the high mids boosted to 100% and the low mids and the bass at full cut. A lot of clank there. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of bottom. Let's add the bass control and bring that up to center while leaving the high mids at 100%. Bring the bass up all the way, why not? We have the bass and the high mids cranked, the low mids cut. Now leaving the EQ as it is, I'm going to go ahead and pan over to the P-Bass pickup here. Let's see what that sounds like with this EQ config. High mids and the bass boosted 100% and the low mids cut 100%, full cut. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and bring the bass and the high mids back down to center and bring the low mids up to 100% down from full cut. That was just the P bass pickup. Let's hear both pickups now. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and play with these EQ controls a little bit more. Let's boost the high mids the low mids and the bass all do 100% with both pickups on. <laughs> Only then are we really overloading uh, my amp setup here. So I think that these pickups and this preamp are decently well paired. It's an unorthodox configuration as the DiMarzios are definitely a bit more, I guess, classic and vintage sounding, but a bit fatter and fuller. The preamp, however, is uh, coloring the tone a lot and uh, achieving a more modern tone, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and center everything up one more time and let's slap it. Actually, let's, uh, let's play with the EQ a little more. I'm going to go ahead and boost the uh, the high mids just to 50%, boost the bass to 50%, and leave the low mids at center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah. Uh, I think this is a pretty neat combination. Leaving the EQ as is with the high mids boosted to 50%, the low mids cut 50%, and the bass boosted to 50%. Let's see how she slaps. <laughs> Oh, that is neat. That is interesting. That was with just the P pickup. Now let's bring the J pickup back in and listen to both. <laughs> oh yeah, this is definitely really cool sounding now. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Charvel Sandemus with the Dark Glass preamp. And as always, until we groove again. <laughs>